This is News 3 at 6. Good evening, I'm Evie Allen. And I'm Mark Kiesling. We'll break down exactly what happened this afternoon inside the Williamson County Courthouse in just a moment. But we begin tonight with a somber morning in Marion as friends and family said goodbye to the victim of that murder, Jade Beasley. Despite the pandemic, many turned out to pay their respects at the Marion First Baptist Church this morning. A private ceremony for Beasley's family took place at one and she was laid to rest in the Rose Hill Cemetery. As Beasley's funeral was taking place just across the street at the Williamson County Courthouse, the suspect accused in her murder faced a judge for the first time. News 3's Joe Rahana was in that courtroom and he joins us in the studio now with more on what took place. Mark, today's court appearance for Julia Beverly was mostly a formality as judge read off the charges. Three counts of first degree murder. Beverly is accused of stabbing Jade, knowing her actions would cause death. She is also accused in making false statements, telling authorities she had left Jade home alone, returning to find an unidentified man fleeing the scene. State's attorney Brandon Zanotti says their investigation has proven that story to be false. She was appointed a court public defender and her bond remains as set at $2 million. Joe, I understand the uh, coronavirus restrictions limited how many people could be in the courtroom today. That's right, Mark. The small courtroom only allowed for up to 10 people total, but Beverly's appearance took a little time. The judge saw the defendant via video conference from the jail facility. Now, Joe, what can you tell us about what you saw in the courtroom? Well, the defendant was wearing a blue jumpsuit and did not speak to anybody but the judge. Her remarks kept mostly the yes or no answers. After the appointment of a public defender, the courtroom was cleared so the two could speak about the case. Her preliminary hearing is set for December 23rd at 1.15. In the studio, Joe Rahana, News 3.